Go, 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 go! Yeah, vetoes would be great. Man, we're lucking out today. Alright, guys, got... Is this just Arabia? Yep, just good old-fashioned Arabia. We'll have ACCM as the blue Aztecs here to the south-ish. And to the north in the red as the as the Cumans. Holy Tim. Exactly, Torvine. His thing is I want to be aggressive, but you have to do so much damage to make it worth it. Well, yeah, that's the idea of aggression is you have to do damage to justify it. <laughs> But yeah, that's like the bug with the spectator lobby. Anyway, so we do have Aztecs versus Cumans here. My personal one and two for best Arabia Civ. Per my tier list. I think if you have a very aggressive map, then Aztecs are a bit better than Cumans. And I think if you have a very... Um, if you have a map that's more like this one where you don't have any ponds, your woodlands are pretty decent, you, it's fairly wallable, uh, then Koomans are going to be the better sieve. ACCM has definitely been a very active poster on the Balance Discord, by the way. Um, so he's definitely uh, someone who's very interested in making changes and whatnot. And trying to work with the devs in doing so. Tim doesn't really speak English, so yeah, that's that's kind of a moot point. Actually, I don't think the Chinese have access to Discord in general. So, as far as this exact matchup goes... Um... Aztecs, if they can get aggressive, if they can get all up in the Kumin's grill before they can even add a second town center, possibly. Yeah, like that would be that that'd be a really big problem for Kumins. And Aztecs can do it for sure. But uh, it's 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 tricky. Oh, also lame. Life wouldn't be worth living. Lamer boy! Tim the Lamer boy! Bedtime night Ornlu plus chat. Ornlu complaining that uh, the last Gajabata mission is broken. Honestly, I might, I might show you guys later on stream. It's really, really annoying because it's the only, it's the last campaign for me to beat. I've be I have literally played and beaten every single campaign in this game on hard, except the last scenario of the last campaign, Gajamata. Well, at least the, in the order I played it in. Because it's bugged. At least I think it's bugged. I was thinking of maybe even doing a campaign tier list video. I think that would be fun. These are the things I'm thinking about when I have a 10-page paper that's due this past Tuesday that I uh, haven't started yet because I, I got the due date wrong. And now I have to just do it really, really fast. And uh, what do I think about? Campaign tier list, that sounds fun. Anyway, Feudal Age is going to become... Feels bad, ACCM. We all know the struggle. Four ninety nine food. Hey, what's he? Now he's going over to stone. Deleted the mining camp, and oh boy, it's tower time, baby. Applies IRL too. Most of the time, no. I am usually very, very on top of making sure I have stuff done on time. Uh, however, this this was an exception because. 
the due date for the paper was pushed back because we were like running behind in class, except the syllabus was never updated, and there was no way for me to check the uh, the due date anywhere. Um, he, like, he said it in the discussion section once, but I forgot to write it down, and then I, I remember it being due, like, this next Tuesday, but it was apparently due this Tuesday, and I just feel like a dum-dum. But that happens sometimes. Moral of the story is, if you change your due dates, update your goddamn syllabus. Anyway, if you'd like to come in, <laughs> you look like a dumb dumb too. Uh, defensive tower coming in, but guess what? Never mind, Tim's already on a ton of stone. LOL! I mean, this is obviously very, very aggressive opening here from ACCM. Probably feels like he has to against Koomans, and he'd be right, because you have to. But as I was saying, Aztecs are going to be one of the better posi uh, civs positioned into, you know, doing that, because they're one of the most aggressive civs in the entire game. And no gold, remember, for Tim right now. Well, I guess he could maybe take this one, but that's certainly no guarantee. Switching over to Tim's UOV, he's got stone in the bank. Has some scouts queued on up, but no second TC. And comes another tower. Tim should be able to place a defensive tower of his own. But I don't think it's going to be up in time. Or at least not before, you know, forcing some villagers and doing the damage and stuff. Yeah, it's only at 66%, guys. There's one dead villager. Humans aren't unbeatable, guys. Okay, of course the tower will finish eventually. No! Why Age of Empires? Why? Why? Why would... Why would the tower auto... See... ACCM is constantly having to retarget the tower to shoot the other tower because the tower is defaulting to attacking the barracks for literally no reason. And it was like this in, in classic AOC, it was like that in HD, it was like that in Wallow Kingdoms, but it's something I really wanted them to fix for DE, and of course they didn't do it. Because, like, this is so stupid. This tower is auto-targeting onto this tower because it's the only thing in sight, but if there are multiple things in sight... The, uh, your towers invariably choose the absolute worst thing to target. In this case, a barracks it has no hope of ever killing. So the nerf tower is in make the meta if Kumans only weakness tower rushing. Uh, I don't think they intended Kumans to be as strong as they are. However, uh, considering how clearly OP they were from the very beginning, um, I don't really, uh, I don't really know what they were thinking, to be honest. But they're nerfing them now, so, you know, better late than never. And they're nerfing them pretty hard. Actually, they're not nerfing Koomans all that hard. They're nerfing Step Lancers mostly. And Kipchoks. Anyway, still only the one TC. <laughs> are there patch notes out? No, I, I keep on referencing things that uh, are not technically public information. Um, I am part of a balanced Discord server with a bunch of other experts and community people and streamers and the entire uh, Forgotten Empires team. And Cision released some pre like uh, tentative patch notes last week, and then he released an updated tentative patch notes uh, today on that server. But you guys will when the when the patch comes out, likely um, next week. You guys will see. Decision's a goddamn liar. Never trust decision. Anyway, second TC on the way here for red. He's already five vills ahead just because ACCM had to go so crazy aggro in his uh, stuff. Aw, oh, feels bad, man. But yeah, I mean, like, I feel like it was a mistake from ACCM 
to tower in this direction. Like, this doesn't really do anything. I think he should have towered in this direction, because that would have cut off all gold income. Because it's, it's so hard for Tim to ever take this gold. Whereas this taking this gold is much more feasible. Regardless, tower will come up here. It will continue to deny the gold. It's just ACCM's in a really bad spot economically. He was pretty hungover and sleep deprived. It happens to the best of us. Uh, the good old one archer, one skirmisher counterattack with no upgrades. Classic. I like how Tim just doesn't care. He's just, he's just mining gold, why not? Scout's coming in here from Tim. And they are taking the poke all right. That's definitely somewhat unfortunate for Tim. Did not... Pay attention to his units as he needed to. Still, though, five villagers ahead. Another tower coming in here from Tim. Obviously wants to help defend that flank of his base. I think Tim's tower should be able to range ACCM's tower. How was Doubt versus Hera on Oasis? Um, Hera won. With some Doubt Castle shenanigans. Doubt just took a bunch of bad fights. Well, tower is up, and Tim still can't gather any gold for the time being. Might have to use the market, but he still should be able to kill this tower, because again, this tower is auto-targeting the archery range as opposed to the enemy tower. Actually, no, it might just be out of range because of fletching. That is a distinct possibility. Why is it weird that Hera isn't streaming? Are you not allowed to play Age of Empires when you're not streaming? Because if that were the case, oh boy. I'd be so guilty. Look at this tower auto-targeting the archery range. Gotta love it, man. Where are these villagers going? Huh? Are you searching for... Does Tim not know? He, Tim doesn't know where his other gold is. Eight hour streams every day? God damn. No wonder he's grown so much. He'd just stream like a madman like that. Does he not have a job? Like, is he full time now? Because I have no idea how you do that and have a job. Yeah, Tim is desperately looking for resources. Unfortunately, all he's finding are wolves. Which are a resource to some extent. They're one of Earth's treasures. And should be, you know, not made extinct. For this half a year. Oh, so he's like taking a semester off. Let's try it out. He's definitely lucky to be in a position to do that. But he's a great streamer, so definitely all the credit in the world to him. Yeah, definitely. I might be doing something sort of similar to like that next year. But, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself just yet. Regardless, it wouldn't be full-time. No, specifically not full-time. past two weeks. Yeah, something like that. Well, really, since DE came out, he's just been churning out the YouTube content and the Twitch content, man. Sneaky, sneaky tower. 
Tim still has 11 idle villagers. But he's 15 villagers ahead, so who cares? But ACCM's up on the way to Castle Age. Tim isn't that close yet. I mean, he's had such a hard time finding gold income. In fact, where the hell is he mining it now? Oh, is it that weird thing where, like, if your villagers are idle, but they're still, like, technically considered gold miners or whatever? Yeah, what? Then they count as gold miners? Because his, his gold account isn't going up. Yeah, damn, that's, like, crazy. Well, he's a, he's a high-level player. He's really the only high-level player that's really been milking DE. I'm surprised more people haven't been doing that. Like, I'm surprised Viper isn't doing it. I feel like Viper could have gotten even crazy huge. But yeah, like, not that many experts just really uh, hit the hit the stream grind. Has been milking DE on Mixer? So what, for 10 viewers? Cap! <laughs> Mixer is the HD of streaming. Oh, feels Ornlu, man. Could have seen Cameo versus Lancer. The battle of the, uh, the arm's length poking. Um, as it happens, uh, Cameoks actually are, are amazing against Step Lancers. Like, they're so insanely good. Same with uh, Mamelukes. Those are definitely two of the best counters. Anyway, ACCM, of course, is still in a very aggressive position. It's down, like, 15 villagers, so he kind of has to be. Two stables queued up right now for Step Lancer production. Not quite up to the Castle Age just yet is our red player. Again, I think he's just using the market for gold income. I think that seven... Wait, no. Oh, sneaky, sneaky boy! Look at the sneaky, sneaky boy. That's also the sugar daddy? Definitely. But that's not really a reliable form of income. But if Viper gets paid that much just to stream on Mixture, then hell yeah, you'll do it. Like, that's not money you can just turn down. Well, Manganel coming in on in. Still around a 15 villager lead for Tim. Really benefiting from this sneaky, sneaky gold mine here. Like, ACCM would be in a dominating position this game if Tim didn't have that gold mine, but because Tim scouted the whole map, like, he, he was, you know, look at this. He, he took the initiative and scouted the whole goddamn map. But now I feel like these uh, Eagle Warriors are going to die a horrible death to these Step Lancers. Tim's got TC number three on the way. In come the Step Lancers with their blisteringly fast speed, but they run into a wall of Eagle Warriors. One conversion coming in as well. Fifty K would definitely not be enough to to switch Viper over. I'm sure Viper made more than that straight streaming on Twitch, and you'd have to maybe double that. because there's just so little uh, room for growth on Mixer. Anyway, Step Lancer's coming in, doing some of that, some of that dare raid. Feels like they're not even a meat shield. I mean, it's like they're, uh, it's like facing the archers, right? They're, the Step Lancers are so fast, they'll just run down all, all non-Gamiuk infantry. Look, this guy's even ranging the watchtower from uh, over the tree.
definitely very much looking forward to the next balance patch. Step Lancers should be completely fine then. I think they, they did all the right changes to the to the unit or are doing are in the process of doing such. Tim, now 25 villagers ahead right now, still got step planters running around everywhere. What is that magic? What magic? Oh, Manganel coming out! It's gonna, it's gonna make it! It's gonna make it! Yeah, the Zeppelin numbers are still going up, though. Oh yeah, breaking towers over the wood line. It's poking between the trees. Nice. Well, I guess it's thing, and I'm still gonna die anyway. Point being, um, this is probably enough step lancers to... Actually, no, I mean, that's a lot of monks. That's seven monks. Like, that's a lot. I do like how Tim has been grabbing the relics. Like, he's just all around the edges of the map here. Really smart play from him. Yeah, Sep Lancers really don't. Like, unless you are very specifically making conics. Actually, no, conics get wrecked by Sep Lancers, what am I talking about? Um, yeah, unless you're specifically making Kamiooks or Mamelukes, I really don't see it happening. Maybe Imp Camels would work as well. Boyar? Yeah, Boyar would probably work just fine. If you're doing a Teuton slow push with the Teutonic Knights, those would work as well, obviously. Like, the Step Lancers can dance circles around the, the Teutonic Knights, but if you're, like, you know, dropping castles in their face and, you know, forcing the engagement at their base, then yeah, you can make Teutonic Knights work as well, I think. I mean, the, against ETK, the Step Lancers are, are literally dealing, like, three damage or something. Anyway, here comes the big engagement, boys! That is a lot of monks that all use their faith on, like, two conversions. Oh, boy. Hey, Ellie Archer. Feels no theocracy, man. But still, like, ACCM, despite being at this massive villager deficit, he's making this push work, and you really gotta give him credit for that. Like I said, Aztecs are one of the few civs that can take the fight to Cumans, and that is what ACCM's been doing. He, he knew that's what he had to do, and he is executing that about as well as he can hope for. These Step Lancers are all going to get absolutely annihilated. I think. I'm pretty sure. Once, these, once the rest of these conversions come in, for sure. Yeah, Mr. Pokepoke going to be doing his thing. And that's two town centers dead at this point. That's a lot of forward stables, though. And that's a forward castle from Tim. What the hell? Um, awkward. This castle's going to deny both these gold mines. Now I just throw down a town center here. Take that gold. Obviously, uh, Tim has been struggling for gold all game. This gold's gonna run out. Here's a town center down here as well. But still, like, you don't you don't mess with how many monks is that? He switch to his POV. Sixteen monks. Sixteen Aztec monks. Sixty HP right now. Hell, just convert the stables. I think that's what he's gonna do. <laughs> yep. Like, ACCM has such a strong push down the middle of the map, but Tim is, like, everywhere else. It's it's really weird. 
I feel like compared to other casters, I disproportionately enjoy watching like the uh, the Chinese and Vietnamese players play. Like I freaking love it, man. They always give the most entertaining games. <laughs> TC in the corpse of freaking Tim's TC. It's now getting offensively towered, technically. Another TC here. How, how many TCs does Tim have? He has one in the east corner, one in the south corner, one in the west corner, and now he's building one in the north corner. <laughs> Tim is playing the four corners strategy. <laughs> Build a TC in every corner and win the game. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a new victory condition. <laughs> Added in DE. Did you guys not hear about it? <laughs> you get bonus points for having additional TCs as well. I mean, Tim's on six TCs right now. <laughs> he's, he's only 25 villagers ahead. And he, like, he has 43 idols, so it's like, it's not even that great. <laughs> that sounds like a campaign mission? Yeah, seriously. Step Lancer's running in, though. The four corner strat. You heard it here first, guys. Or you saw it here first. Tim playing a new campaign. It's called Bill's TC in the four corners of the map. <laughs> Can you imagine if we had, like, Tim and Yo and Vivi all at land together? Like, I would want to see the triple Chinese cast if, like, we had IRL subtitles. Like, if we could do, like, running subtitles, even just, like, the Yo and, like, a Yo and Vivi cast at NAC would be, like, the most hilarious thing ever. Tim, Yo, Vivi, Lix. Oh, yeah, exactly. You gotta have Lix in there. Well, Lix, he'll say something in the first, like, 15 minutes, and then, like, he'll, he'll like, go crazy in the first 15 minutes, and then he'll just, you know, quietly sip some tea for, like, 45 minutes, and then he'll come back in at, like, the one-hour mark and then go crazy again, because you gotta cast with, like, how you play. That's, that's the only way you can do it. So, uh, what's happening right now? ACCM is still ahead by, like, 12 pop. <laughs> now there's tips now tower rushing over here. Do you have Kipchoks on the way? You bet we have Kipchoks on the way. <laughs> you bet, Wildebeest. I'll have you know I am 1350 DE. How many relics does Tim have? I think he has at least three. Make that four. Yeah, Tim has four four relics and number five is right over here. Easy for Tim to take. This is probably the best game I've seen on DE. It's up there for me, honestly. I, come to think of it, I've played better games than this, but only like one or two, and I don't think I've cast any better games. Though, like I, I've said before on stream, like I, I've played, I think, the best game of my life on DE was uh, Persians versus Cumans on uh, Continental. It was like an hour and a half nonstop action that I won with uh, the power of trash bows. I was like, I was like 1200 score down at the 30 minute mark and uh, I made the comeback happen. But this game is pretty sick. Kipchok's now coming in. I mean, the monk numbers are just not where they need to be at home. But at the same time, Tim's losing another town center. <laughs> Tim is losing his, uh, his sixth town center. Well, that's TC number six right now. He has built, I believe, eight this game. Oh, ACCM did get a castle up at home. And he's only 14 bills behind right now, guys. And that should be... I, I was going to say increasing, but, I mean, one Eagle Warrior is going to take a long time. 
And what's the income looking like? For Tim, he doesn't have stone, but he has all the other resources coming in. ACCM has essentially no food income, but he's got golden wood, which just translates to more monks, but no one's near imperial age. Wait. Okay, those are just pikemen. Oh wait, I'm sure ACCM got herbal medicine, guys. No, like, real talk. ACCM almost certainly got herbal medicine for, one, the monk HP, but he's now using it for the pikemen. He's using herbal medicine as intended. <laughs> and ACCM will do shit like this. He still holds the record as determined by Ornlu for the very first player to research the Karak upgrade in a tournament match. <laughs> the Portuguese Castle Age unique tech. <laughs> Giving the ships plus one, uh, plus one armor. Like, he was literally the first person to ever n realize that that was a thing in a, you know, high-level tournament game. <laughs> and yeah, Pikeman full HP now! <laughs> This game is just silly. Tim now has the population lead, but, like, look at this. TC's going down. Why aren't the villagers killing the rams? One's at 4 HP! <laughs> was it a water map? Yes. It was, I believe, on Bog. No, no, like I was saying, like, the, the caveat I, I put in there was in a tournament match. It was in ECL. Um, and I think it was Southeast Asia, and it was on Bog. And if I recall correctly, it was a, it was a really sick VNA versus Secret game where VNA. Did you see that eagle moonwalking right there? But uh, VNA pulled out the win in like a super crazy game against Secret on Bog, like played completely out of their minds. It was ACCM back, say my name. And then uh, proceeded to get completely annihilated by Secret in the other three games. <laughs> Freaking VNA, man. One minute you're like crushing Secret, the next you uh, just completely wrecked by them. Anyway, ACCM's Villager Count's looking really not so great right now. I mean, the, the Kipchaks have really been doing work. ACCM's Eco, not good. Tim has a lot of gold in the bank, and he's technically closer to Imp. But he's lost his Western TC. He's lost his victory condition. <laughs> ACCM now building a barracks over to the west. Who is winning? I am confused. <laughs> I don't blame you, Michael Meyer. I I'm fairly certain Tim is winning right now, but I'm not confident. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, oh, if the, if the monks are caught off guard, the monks were... The, 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 the monks, the, 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 no! Oh, no! But you get, the, there's no way without theocracy that these can all get individual conversions. And that the monks got, like, three conversions right there. That's not enough, man. Maybe they got four. Oh, no! All the monkers... Not the gumdrop button! Tim also has that gold income. Yeah, now the TC can be garrisoned. Now things are looking real desperate for ACCM. He's down 35 villagers. He lost his huge lead. Uh, well, like, military lead, which is the monks. <laughs> but he's gonna lose another TC, like... And actually, the villagers can just kill those rams. Um, I don't even know where to look. <laughs> Both players have lost their starting town centers. But the the five relics, or sorry, only four relics. <laughs> ACCMs are going to try and at least get one. But yeah, four relics to one in favor of Tim. Like, this whole game is, is really great. Kipchoks are just going to be able to dance around here forever. What's the score? Great question. Um, Tim is ahead by around 800 score, which makes sense. If only we could see the score and the production tab at the same time. Wouldn't that be a nice feature? 
But, uh, you know, we can't get too futuristic all at once. Now taking ACCM's main gold. Oh, I've seen games that were, like... I've, yeah, th I've seen games that have passed the one-hour mark still in Castle Age. This is YouTube worthy stuff. Will I upload it? Yeah, probably. I mean, this is a this is a crazy game. I don't think it's a spoiler. Like, if I had to guess the score, I would say that Tim was probably around, you know, between 500 and 1,000 ahead. Oh, oh, you mean the the cross name thing? Yeah, because that that is a bug. That's like that doesn't mean anything. Anyway, um, uh, there's a castle right here. What strategic value does this castle have? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it denies these farms, I guess. <laughs> but like, look at the production tab. It's still way crazy production here for ACCM. Tower behind. Oh yeah, this this tower. This is actually the second tower here, Dragon Star. There was a tower that was right here. You can see the little dirt patch where the tower was. This is actually the second tower. <laughs> yeah, I know you can see the score, but then you can't see the villager and military counts and KDs, which I think are overall more useful information. I mean, essentially, just have to pick what information. But yeah, like, ACCM, like, I keep on thinking, like, he should be dead, but he's still completely outproducing his opponent. I mean, like, Tim, he has so many more villagers, but also so many more idols, at least, you know, consistently throughout the game. I think for a 1v1, honestly, that would be complete. Wait, why can't we just see the scores like normal? Like, have the production tab and the scores, that's not too much information. I mean, yeah, like, these guys' ability to play well in these complete messes of a game is, is really impressive. Because that this is just not easy to do. Like, when you're literally, like, having to look at four different fronts at once. But yeah, I mean, like, militarily, it's just... Tim has the much more mobile army. He can go everywhere. He can find the weak points in ACCM's... I, I, I was going to say base, but I, I don't really think what ACCM has can be called a base. It's more like the AoE equivalent of urban sprawl. It's kind of like LA, but... AoE version. Is this a little quick wall attempt? I think it is, but it's not going to be successful. <laughs> yeah, no, no uh, Bod Canero. The town center is not doing as much damage as it could be. I think Tim is going to be creeping closer. Oh yeah, Imperial Age. That's going to be the nail in the coffin. Yeah, all those eagles getting cleaned up. I just see Tim getting further and further ahead. Tim is so good in these g sorts of games. Like, ACCM is too. Like, obviously, like, this was a very close game. But I feel like I've seen so many games of Tim that just look like this. And he, he plays in these sorts of situations like he's, you know, practiced them, you know, in, like, 10 hours a day every day. It's like... The in-game adapt... Like, adaptability of, of Tim is as impressive as the out-of-game adaptability from Tato. Like, that first show match I cast between Tato and Doubt, it looked like Tato had been playing, you know, DE for five years. With, like, all the, the strats and stuff, and how well he was using the new civs, or even old civs with new bonuses. Tim, it's like that, but, like, in these weird-ass scenarios in-game. With that said, ACCM is killing another town center. Wait, okay, no, he, uh, Tim is a hit Imperial Age. Say, wait, that's not his MTC. 
ACC, I'm a good 20 pop behind right now. And of course, the army quality is a big concern right now. Capgram's coming in here for Tim. <laughs> Those China Nomad games? You mean Big Nomad, right, Dragonstar? Because there's only there's only one Nomad out there, and that's Big Nomad. But yeah, I mean, Kipchoks are going to annihilate these pikemen. Uh, sending in the Capgrams by themselves, that's usually not a great way to win a game. In fact, it's a terrible way to win a game. AOC China Nomad? That's true. But yeah, like, Tim has safe economy over here, even if his economy everywhere else is a complete disaster. You can just see the discrepancy. 50 pop ahead here for our red player. ACCM still nowhere near Imperial Age. And now Tim's the one whose production tab is off the roof. Through the roof, off the rails. Off the roof isn't a thing. And there's the GG, guys. Well, I assume there was a GG. We can't in, we can't see in-game chat. So we don't even know the difference between a... A rage quit. Kip versus Vivi? Feels bad, man. Anyway, here are the achievables. Yeah, this one's definitely gonna go on YouTube. Tim, most units killed. By a lot, obviously. 25 conversions for ACCM, though. Look at that uh, eco discrepancy. Obviously, eco is what won it. Both a 98% map explored. The four relics were definitely huge for Tim. That was a crazy, crazy game. Like, look at this. Like, at this point, it looked like ACCM was going to win. Like, that is a massive military discrepancy. But Tim just... The, the, the weakness of, of ACCM's army was that it, it was slow, right? It's siege and monks and a few pikemen eagle warriors, yeah, but mostly siege and monks. That was the, the meat of the army. And what's the counter of that? Just to build buildings in all four corners of the map. Easy. Easy peasy.